Hello everyone! Today we'll have a new lesson about Microsoft Word Mailings tab and functions. Mailings tab create address, labels, and type for envelopes. This tab contains everything needed to complete a successful mail merge. Here are the types or parts of Mailings tab. First, create envelopes lets you create and print envelopes labels lets you create and print labels start mail merge under the start mail merge is the start mail merge drop down the drop down contains the commands such as letters email messages envelopes labels directory normal word document and step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. It creates a from letter which you intend to email or print multiple times, sending each copy to a different recipient. Displays the new address list dialog box. Select recipient drop down. The three options are from step three of the wizard. The drop down contains the commands type new list, Use existing list and select from Outlook contacts. Type new list displays the new address list dialog box. You will have to save this list as a Microsoft Office address list with that MDB. Edit recipient list. Displays the mail merge recipients dialog box, allowing you to change or filter the list of recipients. How about the Write and Insert Fields part? These commands are only available when you are in a mail merge document. The Highlight Merge Fields highlight all the fields in the active document that have been inserted. This makes it easy to see what will be replaced. Address Block displays the Insert Address Block dialog box. This allows you to customize how the address will be inserted. Greeting line. Displays the insert greeting line dialog box. Let's you add a greeting line to your document. Insert merge field. Button with drop down. The button displays the insert merge field dialog box. The drop down allows you to quickly insert a merge field just by clicking on it. In the list and contains the commands, title, first name, last name, company name, address line, address line 2, city, state, zip code, country or region, home phone, work phone, and email address. Rules drop down lets you add decision making rules to the mail merge. The drop down contains the commands, ask, fill in. If then else, merge record, merge sequence, next record, next record if, set bookmark, skip record if. Match fields. Displace the match fields dialog box, allowing you to match the required fields with the recipient's list. And update labels. On the enabled when creating labels, Updates all the labels in the document to be consistent with the first label. Let's proceed to the preview results part. Preview results, this is disabled when there are no fields in your document. Toggles the merge fields in your document with actual data from your recipient list. First record, view the first record in the recipient list. Previous record. View the previous record in the recipient list. Go to record. View a specific record in the recipient list. Next record. View the next record in the recipient list. Last record. View the last record in the recipient list. Find recipient. Displace the find entry dialog box to search for a particular text entry. Auto check for errors or Alt Shift K displays the checking and reporting errors dialog box. This allows you to simulate the mail merge and to specify how to handle any errors that occur 
during mail merge. You can even simulate the merge and report errors in a new document. Let's talk about the finish part. Finish and merge dropdown. The dropdown contains the commands, edit individual documents, print documents, and send email messages. That's all for the learnings about the MS Word mailings tab and functions. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.